uh, check that out up. This uh, famous view from uh, Hurricane Utah that everybody knows about. Everybody knows and talks about all the time. You know the one. It's interesting. Uh, down there, there's kind of like a, a valley down there behind that first little hill that you see right there, the very first one. And between that and that second kind of uh, level horizon uh, before it gets taller, there's like, a, I don't know, it looks like houses down there or something. I mean, you probably, you know, you can't see it with the camera so well, but yeah, maybe you can. Houses or industry of some sort, I don't know. People uh, live in uh, interesting places, you know. <sighs> wow. Yep, good old Utah. So, anyhow, how are you? You doing well? I hope. I trust. I bet you are. Yep, I'm doing well too. Actually, thanks for asking. Um, how about a quick check-in, shall we? Let you know uh, exactly what the deal is here. Uh, get rid of. Oh, I can't get rid of any of those. Huh. Oh well. So uh, let's see what do we got. Today is Saturday, October third. Yep, it's already the third. I know. It's crazy. Um, geez, you know, Christmas is gonna be like right around the corner. I mean, man, two months. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Yep, so Saturday, October 3rd, redundant. And uh, time here in Hurricane Utah is 2.11 p.m. with a uh, whopping temperature outside of uh, uh, 89, 90, 91, somewhere around in there. I'll know, I'll know better here in a minute. Once the uh, gauge settles a little bit, it might not be 91. I don't think it is. Uh, but it's warm, it's definitely warm. I mean, this is Utah after all. So, um, so we just completed uh, and finished my delivery over at Walmart here, right behind me. That was, uh, well, that was an interesting um, event. I mean, it was. In one corner I call it an event. Right on West State Street. But it was actually quite uneventful. I mean, if that makes sense. Uh, it was so uneventful, in fact, that uh, I got kind of irritated. <laughs> I don't know. There was some mis there was a misunderstanding and perhaps a little confusion and uh, perhaps a little human error on the part of the driver of this here truck, yours truly. And uh, well, you bl blame it on uh, blame it on you know just uh, you know foggy headedness. You know that early morning foggy headedness that occurs when you get up at. Uh, 3.30 a.m. and arrive someplace at 4.15. Um, and it's your first time there. And they start handing you papers that are kind of confusing the way they're worded. But uh, basically what happens, the way that it works over here at the uh, Walmarts is um, you uh, you get to like you go through this check-in gate you go through this kind of process to do the check-in and uh, and they're very secure minded in, in the way that they they do their thing it's very high security like it's Walmart so they're very um, yeah, I mean, they want to see your driver's license, and they actually check the seal. <laughs> they actually check, like, the seal that, you know, basically you put on your on your doors, uh, whereas a lot of places don't even 
even bother checking it. They sure do here. Three quarters of a mile. Keep right on 15. And so what they do from the check-in is, um, wow, would you look at that view? Isn't that cool? That's Utah. Isn't that cool? I don't know if you're seeing it that well, but it's really cool. So what they do at the check-in is they go through all that stuff, and then they direct you to a dock door. You know, they say, okay, go ahead, they, you know, get over there, pop the seal, put the seal in this, this bag that we're giving you. It's like a manila folder kind of thing, kind of. So put the seal in the bag, you know, open your doors, back up to the dock door, chalk your tires, and uh, then uh, uncouple from the trailer, and then go park uh, like across from where the dock doors are, you know, and, you know where they have Bobtails Park. And then uh, once you do that, then go into uh, the driver check-in over where the actual, just, you know, the center is where the dock doors are. Continue on I-15. And bring in the packet with the with the broken seal in it, and check in with them, and they'll direct you what to do from there. Right. So, so they give you this this, you know, yeah, you know, they give you a bunch of stuff to sign, and. Uh, and then um, he gave me this form, right? It's just this, it's basically just this sheet of paper. Um, and it says, it has like this option on there where uh, to get your signed copy of the BOL, you can uh, either provide them with a fax number or an email and uh, and then have the signed copy of the BOL sent to that within like two hours, right? Of, uh, you know, whatever, from that very time, I guess. You know, or, um, or you can wait 10 hours and get a signed copy then and there. And the reason behind it is because um, they have to unpack the entire shipment, the entire load, and inventory it. So like they gotta take it all off the pallets and open up every box and basically, you know, inventory it, right? And so it did take up to 10 hours. And well, the thing is, is when they gave me that form, I was reading it, I was just kind of, still sleepy and foggy from waking up and I just wasn't and all I saw was the one that said the option that said uh, uh, I do not wish to participate in the uh, pick and pull thing or whatever I was like yeah dude I don't want to wait 10 hours just whatever the option is not to wait for 10 hours as long as I get a delivery receipt he's like yeah okay so I checked it and I signed it and it turned out I checked the wrong one so like all this time's going by and I'm just sitting in there, <laughs> sitting, or sitting in my truck and like just waiting, you know, and of course I did, I took advantage of it and got some sleep a little bit, you know, but, but damn, like it was just taking forever. Five hours had gone by, I'm like, what's going on? And six, and six and a half, and finally I was like, you know, and I had been chucking the trailer to see if I had gotten, you know, if, the, if it was gonna get a green light. I was checking it like once an hour just to check for a green light because the guy hadn't called me yet. He was supposed to call me when he was ready. And then so I got up and I looked and there was a green light flashing. So I was like, oh, cool. So I go walking back in there and I was like, oh, cool. So uh, can I go ahead and uh, you know hook up? You know, I see a green light and he goes, oh, well, no. He says, uh, they're not done unpacking and inventorying yet. And uh, the only reason why it has a green light is everybody's out to lunch. I was like, they're not done. <laughs> what do you mean? They're out to lunch. <laughs> it's like 11:30. I guess. Uh, I guess actually it was. Yeah, it was lunchtime there. But uh, 
I was like, what are you talking about? Why Why are they unpacking an inventory every time? That's not what I wanted. He's like, no, that's the one you selected. Here, look. And he shows me the thing that I signed. And I was like, wait a minute. What? And I was like, oh, man. And I got kind of I got kind of irritated with him. I was like, man, this is just super inefficient, man. Like, this is crazy. Like, I've been waiting here like seven hours. I thought I'd chosen the one where I wasn't going to do all that. He goes, yeah, well, that's the one you picked. I, I says, okay, well just to, let's pick the regular one he goes it's too late now i says oh shit so whatever it, it was my fault you know and, and uh i got kind of uh, short with him about it and in all reality it was just you know it wasn't his fault you know i just you know it was my bad that's that's actually usually usually why we get angry at situations like that because we realize it's just angry at ourselves for making the wrong, you know, decision or not taking the time to read it or, you know, just not understanding it or whatever. And, uh, whatever, it's all right. So, um, uh, yeah, whatever, you know, so I just said, all right, well, it is what it is. Came back out to the truck and kind of hung, hung out and just, you know, worked on some videos, you know, to upload and, and then, uh, Ended up getting uh, information on my next load here while I was waiting, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, then you know whatever. Then uh, then he called me not you know not too much longer after that. But when I got the information about my next load, I was like, okay, well I better go get some sleep then. And uh, so I you know got back in the rack again, and you know turned off the phone, you know, I turned it off, but put it down and, you know, said, all right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, focus on getting some sleep. And uh, next thing you know, he calls me, he's like, all right, yeah, I got your paperwork ready for you. You're good to go. Ah, shit. <laughs> all right. So, so uh, that's fine. I'm out of there. Yep. I'm out of there. I, I would have rather spent that much time someplace else, but that's all right. It is what it is. Can't change it now. Couldn't change it then either. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, I do. I got my next load information. So, uh, what I'm doing is I'm heading back southbound now on 15. Uh, same way that I came uh, up through up through Vegas and all that, uh, and basically I'm heading back down to Las Vegas and uh, going to be getting loaded this evening at like 7:30, 8 o'clock uh, down at a uh, I guess it's a USPS load, uh, so I'm running down to their center, their facility, and we're going to get loaded there. And then uh, I'm going to be heading out to Ontario, California, which is down in LA area. And uh, so yeah, so that's my next run, which I'll be doing tonight. So hence, I need to get some sleep. That's what I was saying. Like, oh, as soon as I got that information, I was like, okay, I better get some sleep. So I got, I think, I guess. I guess I got to run all night. So, so, actually, I should probably check and see what my uh, what my delivery appointment time is here. I know what my pickup appointment time is. Let's see here. What do we got? Yep. So, Ontario, California. Appointment time. For tomorrow, oh what? Oh wow! Huh? Okay, well that's not so bad. Okay. Well, that's that's not so bad at all. I don't know. I guess I I just kind of assume that uh, I'm looking at like I was looking at a long drive. But actually, yeah, it's not that far out to Ontario from Las Vegas. So my delivery time is for uh, 1 a.m. Uh, you know, like 
an hour after midnight tonight. So I'll be running straight through. Um, whatever that's going to be, a five or six hour drive. So, which is, uh, yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. I can handle that. That's easy peasy. I could do that without any sleep uh, at all <clears throat> today. I got enough sleep last night and uh, part through this morning to be able to handle that. So, no worries on that. That's cool. Yep, well, there you go. So, that's the deal. And, um, yeah, like I said, underway. Yeah, and it is. It's 91 degrees. So, uh, I guess the old gauge was uh, accurate there a minute ago. So I'll be looking at this uh, incredibly beautiful Canyon Drive coming up again. So I'll be uh, I'll be rolling that that footage again in the opposite direction. I figure I might uh, yeah I'll probably go ahead and uh, begin another one here in a minute and uh, keep on rolling. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a uh, hyper drive through some of this here. I probably better plug this in though if I'm gonna. I have a feeling the battery's low on it. Is it gonna charge? Uh, huh. I don't know if it's charging or not. Well, I got to check this out here, and uh, we're already into a pretty long video here, so I'll wrap it up, and uh, I will see you on down the road.